What's up, Anne? Good morning. Good morning. How was New Zealand? Such a grueling experience. Probably like one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. I just got back from filming a competition reality show. Beautiful. I found myself these past few months like it's on the receiving end of more hate than I have ever gotten in my entire life. I realized that I have to be able to handle those things that life is throwing at me. But also I wanted to punish myself, penance through pain. I was going to work out and then Jason's gonna come by. Okay. And then I'm gonna see Schwartz, so that's what these are for. I got him another pair oh. of these shoes. It's been a while since you saw him. You guys okay? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Good, good. Things are very much not okay between Schwartz and I. He just recently went on Jax's podcast and talked shit about me. I know he's very passionate about the band, but like the optics of it just looks like he doesn't give a and he's living on his rock star dream. I feel betrayed by my friend. Um, tomorrow's my birthday. Yes, happy birthday. Thanks. I wanted to just like have people over. Oh, um. Well, Ariana's obviously invited if she wants to come. I think she'll be busy. Yeah. yeah. We can ask her if she wants to stay in like a nice hotel. I can like- That'd be nice. I can get her a nice hotel room. I could ask. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll be upstairs. Okay. <sighs> okay, um. Okay, Maya, let's go outside. Come on, cutie. What is it like having to share a living space with your ex? Stupid. Awkward. He has done some weird things like open my mail and put my plates on my car. His most recent thing is that he got this white noise machine. I got a white noise machine because when the scandal fever was at its peak, things I was saying were being overheard by Ariana and her friends. It's literally just the loudest like, Shh. Is this some sort of like psychological warfare? Maya! Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll come out with you. <laughs> Sorry, I said this is so awkward. But... Come on, it's okay. Go potty. Uh, so Tom wants to have a, a birthday party here okay. tomorrow. And um, he said that he could get you like a very nice hotel room. Uh, uh, that's not happening. Okay. I think that's very disrespectful and inappropriate. Mm -hmm. If he wants to have a party, he can have it somewhere else. Got it. Yes, mm -hmm. okay. If there are people here making noise, I will call the cops. Okay. Mm-hmm, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm spiraling thinking about what his parties used to be like. Do you go party? Hi. There would be loud music playing, mess disgusting everywhere, and it would be like, three, four, five, sometimes six in the morning. But now that we're not together, I'm not putting up with that shit. I don't know if you got my text. Uh, so he's having Jason come hang out. Yeah, here. I'll just keep existing like I normally do in my own house. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Have fun. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing tonight with your hair? Well, Should we put it up? No, because it's not a party tonight. It's just the last day. There's no celebration. If anything, it's like commiseration. 10 years is a good run for a restaurant, I'm telling you. It's a success story. Yeah, the end of an era. After 10 years, we've decided to close Pump. It's bittersweet, but the rent's going up and it's gonna be exponentially more expensive. And Ken's looking to retire. If you're really smart, sometimes it's good to know when to walk away. If we take it on for another 10 years, that means Ken will still be stomping the pavements of West Hollywood when he'll be in his 80s. And I 
I'd be in my 40s. That is way too old. It's had so many great memories there. I think people are really going to miss it. It's been a good run. Should we absolutely get yeah. faced Yes, I'm get sleeping over out? in the guest room tonight. <laughs>this is such a peaceful walk like honestly you can't find this like on the other side of the hill perfect for a doggy yeah oh what i'm so excited i really want one honestly i feel like i'm ready i know my like dj career is going to get like busier and i'm djing a lot and i'm on the road but harry can come watch her whenever yeah i'm not like against it but we just have to make sure we're really ready yeah you know lisa asked me about graham cracker the other day at some time yeah. what happened to your dog if raquel went into you don't know Lisa, um, I hope dog? he's good. I hope he's good. And it's like, I can just picture him in that, like, cactus-infested land of Arizona, just getting caught again and running out. I feel like I've never gotten over graham cracker, you know? I was definitely heartbroken for so long over that. I was always the best dad to Graham. It was just like, our bond was undeniable, unbreakable. Yeah, I love him more than anything. The times are flights, we have to leave at, like, what? Pretty soon, actually. I know. Can't believe I'm not, we're not going to be there. I will miss Pump, you know? But, like, flying out to Chicago for a sold-out show sounds pretty good.